hey what's up guys welcome to another episode of lc stack so guys in today's example we will create a model pop-up in our lightning web component so guys uh, what is a model pop-up basically so model pop-up is also a kind of a component or let's say if you're building it in visual force page so it's kind of a part of the visual force page or it could be a separate visual force page so in our case it will be a separate component okay and uh, so as per my perspective like model pop-up is just a component which will be just you know uh, rendering itself on a event on a specific event like on buttons click so we'll just display that component on the screen or we'll just hide that specific component from that screen on a buttons click so that's how a model pop-up works and if you have seen that uh, the model pop-up background is a little bit grayed out and transparent so for that we'll also have some kind of CS, CSS uh, modifications here and also we'll be having some specific classes for them. So let's start today's videos guys. So I have already created the component. So let me just show it to you, okay? All right. So guys, uh, I'm having two lightning web component. First is the model pop-up and the second one will be the parent fund in which we'll display the model pop-up. Okay, so let me just uh show you the html part first okay so guys an html part uh so it's basically we are just having a box here and in this box in this or maybe we can say in this div tag we are having a header and a body here so as you can see we are having some predefined classes here and, and the top of it we are just having uh, if uh, show model is true then this should be displayed otherwise you know it should be hidden so here as you can see uh, we are having header here and in header we are having a button to close the model pop-up because you have seen the cross button at the top of it and in this header file I'm just having a heading like my model pop-up or maybe you can just customize it as per requirement and underneath that also I'm just having few predefined classes uh, for model pop-up. I have also just copied these classes from one of the examples available on the LC recipes. So you may also like if you need the complete uh, example or maybe the complete code you can just check out there. Or also I will be having the complete code onto my blog itself. So you can just directly check out from there. So guys, uh, so uh, we have just divided this lightning component into two parts the header part and the body part so in the header part we are just having the heading in the heading tag of course and apart from this we are just having a button to close the model and in the body tag we are just using pure html tags here so there's no need to you know implement any additional tool or maybe a third party library so we are just using pure html here so as you can see i'm using paragraph tag to display the text here okay and at the end guys this is the i think this is the most important thing in in a model so you can just simply you know copy and paste this uh, class into a div tag at the end of the model so guys what it will do basically it will just create the background of that model as you have seen a uh, grayed out uh, with with you know little bit opacity in background of model so this is the line which is responsible for that uh, function for that effect i will i will show it to you by removing this line okay let me go to the js part so guys in js part i'm having a css class here let me show you the css first so in css guys uh, i'm just having a model hidden in which i'm just you know displaying or maybe i'm just hiding the model by displaying none here okay so i've just implemented the css in this css class here okay and uh, here guys as you can see i'm having show model here and the default value is false basically and i'm having sh uh, show function here i am using the api decorator here because you know this should be public because we will be accessing it from the parent because the show model button will be on parent and on that buttons click we have to access this show function in this child component so that's why we are just using the api decorator here to just you know make it public okay so using this api decorator show method we are just doing this dot show model is true so it will just display the model and on the close button we are just uh, uh, we are just doing show model is equal to false 
to hide that model pop-up and that's it that was your model lightning web component so and let me show you the parent one now guys so the parent component name is preview model here it is so here guys as you can see in preview model i'm just having a button to display the model and underneath that i'm having my child component which is model pop-up the component name is model pop-up without any hyphen but uh, as per the components rule you have to use hyphen whenever you are having a capital letter in your component so that's why i'm using model hyphen pop-up here so i'm just displaying the pop-up here and on the buttons click so this is my handle show model button so on that button click i'm just calling the show method here from this model and I, i'm having that uh, model here based on this uh, template dot uh, query selector so using this query selector i'm just getting the c dot model or pop class here and i'm just calling the show method from the parent itself okay so this is the i mean this is everything like you need in your parent class and in your model class okay let me show you the output now let me open the default doc first okay let's go to open default doc all right this is my default org and let me go to my application and i'm having this example in the other examples so as you can see here this is the model button here and when you when we click on this button it will just display the model and on this cross button i'm having functionality to close this model so i i mean this is pretty simple right you just need to add few classes the few model classes which will just give the effect and you know which will just create a pop-up effect here with cross button so basically we are just displaying a lightning component in a pop-up so that's what we are doing here and also guys you can have the code of this model pop-up into the same lightning component in which you would like to display it on the click of the button but uh, if we see as per the best practice so whatever you are creating it should be reusable okay so let's say there could be multiple components in which you would like to display a model with different different values that can be definitely that can be changed using the dynamic values so in that case guys you can just use a single model pop-up in multiple component i mean if 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 it has been built uh, using the best practice and also guys let me just show you by removing that line like what effect it will uh, give us here so let me just go back to the model pop-up here it is okay so let me just comment this line number 37 okay so it is commented now let me just upload it again all right it is deployed let me refresh it okay cool so now when i will click on the show model if you have noticed that background effect is missing here i think which is the background effect guys uh, as for my opinion like the, that is the soul of this model pop up i mean a, a model pop up is not a model pop up without that background grayed out with little bit opacity effect so that's why we were using that specific line here so it's having some predefined classes and I think using uh, maybe you know um, this is one of from the SLDS classes which will just show and hide the model pop-up okay so let me just uncomment it all right and let me deploy it again okay and also guys you can just skip this uh, model hidden css class because you know i have created it earlier but i don't think i'm using it anywhere here so let me just check it once no i'm not i'm not using it anywhere so you can simply just you know skip creating that css class because we are already using all the default classes from slds okay so it is working as expected 
you can modify the code as per the requirement or also guys i will be having the same code on my blog also which is salesforcebold.com i am uh, frequently up uploading the uh, episode on my blog also i mean if you need the complete code from one of the episodes so you can just directly go to this blog and check that out all right so i hope you guys like today's video if you like the video guys subscribe to the channel will be awesome i'll see you in the next one guys thanks for watching